Hi everyone, I tried really hard, I'm so sorry, I tried to make a video while I was doing this, but uh, I am, you know, videographer challenged, and <laughs> it just doesn't work, I can't like chop stuff and, and um, uh, record at the same time, and when I tried to, you know, put it, put it at some level that it, you would see it, it just kept falling. So basically this is a stir fry that I make. Um, and marinade and what's in this is about five stalks of celery um, two red peppers one green pepper a couple of onions maybe a handful or so of cauliflower um, baby bok choy about two heads of baby bok choy um, a can of water chestnuts and um, what else is in there I said I think I've got everything and um, I have round roast um, actually that was on sale and I am um, single income no kids um, with a house so I have to get the deals where I can oh I'm a sink <laughs> okay I'm a sink single income no kids that's too funny anyway so you take that you put it all together and then you throw in I know it's gonna sound weird but trust me go with me on this one. Oh, did I say garlic three cloves of garlic um, you throw in probably a half a cup of ketchup half a cup of soy sauce about three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce I can't say it I think it's Worcester um, but Worcestershire, if you were going to actually pronounce it out. Anyways, a little salt and pepper. Um, if you're diabetic, I would go with sugar-free um, ketchup. If you have low sodium, I use low sodium soy sauce, so um, I would suggest that because the sodium in soy sauce is kind of ridiculous. So because it's a cheaper cut of uh, roast, I let it marinate for about 24 hours, and your meat gets tenderized. But it looks like this. Um, then you heat it up. And, you know, if it gets a little too runny, um, then I would add a little guar gum. It's G-U-A-R gum. Um, and trust me on this, warning, um, use a very, very tiny amount because a tiny amount actually um, uh, would uh, make it really thick. So if you go, like, hand heavy on it, you're going to end up with, like, mud. Uh, so I wouldn't suggest that. And that's, like, beautiful. Come on, you gotta admit that's beautiful. It's chock full of veggies. Um, you can put it over some brown rice if you want to be uber healthy. I personally think it tastes like dirt brown rice, but every now and again I eat it just to be healthy. So I ran it on CalorieCount.com. So I'd say um, in that there's probably about 12 servings. So here's the nutritional information. So it's about 146 per serving. So if you wanted to go wild, it's 300 and add some rice and um, probably 500 if you used white rice. Um, 500, I, I would say it's probably, you know, if you had a hearty helping, and I have hearty helpings because I'm not shy when it comes to the food, but this is, um, what it tastes like. Um, so that is my, um, I wanted to show you guys because I love cooking and I've been watching your recipes. Oh, by the way, this is my kitchen. I built this with my ex. We built it. Actually, that was all slats of wood before. So it's pretty impressive. If I may say so myself because well I guess if you're handy it's not impressive but I'm not handy so <laughs> um, this is what we built and here's the counter do, 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 do. and this is my potato bin cupboard wine rack because I like the booze another part of the cupboard that's my kitchen. It's really tiny. This whole house is really tiny. I swear they were midgets back then, but this is my kitchen. And uh, that's my feast that I will be having tomorrow, and I hope you enjoy it. Bye for now.